Hello there, and welcome to the weekly asylum and immigration reform update, where I share with you five recent stories of interest to asylum seekers and those who want to stay current on immigration news. This week, we're discussing Kamala Harris will visit the border to address immigration and critique Trump's policies. Texas probes immigrant advocacy groups sparking a First Amendment lawsuit. Charter flights to Nicaragua become a new route for migrants heading to the U.S. Immigration remains a key election issue as demographics shift in swing states. Newly naturalized citizens seek positive immigration policies in the 2024 election. I'm Brian Manning, and I used to be an asylum officer with the government, but now, as an asylum lawyer, I help immigrants all over the country to secure their future in America through asylum. It's my pleasure to bring you asylum and immigration reform updates each week, right here on the Political Asylum Lawyers YouTube channel. Okay, let's get to the news. First up, Vice President Kamala Harris will visit the southern border for the first time as the Democratic nominee, addressing a key vulnerability on immigration. In Douglas, Arizona, she plans to call for tougher border security and criticize Donald Trump for derailing a bipartisan border deal. The campaign will launch an ad promoting her plan to hire more border agents and combat drug smuggling. Harris has been highlighting her record on prosecuting international criminal organizations and vowing to revive the border bill if elected. Despite Trump's ongoing attack, Harris aims to portray Democrats as solution-oriented while accusing Trump of politicizing the issue. The visit comes as border crossings have decreased, providing Harris with favorable data. Some advocates urge her to address relief for long-term undocumented immigrants. Harris will emphasize both border security and maintaining the U.S. legacy as a nation of immigrants. And next up for update number two. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton has launched an investigation into Las Americas Immigrant Advocacy Center, an El Paso nonprofit providing legal services to migrants. This marks the fifth probe into immigration-focused organizations by Paxton's office this year. Las Americas has filed a federal lawsuit seeking to halt the investigation, claiming it infringes on their First Amendment rights and affects their work. The Attorney General's office is demanding information related to a federal migrant sponsorship program that allows legal migration for certain nationalities. Paxton's office has previously targeted other nonprofits working on immigration issues, including attempts to shut down a migrant shelter network. These investigations follow Governor Greg Abbott's 2022 directive to examine non governmental organizations' roles in facilitating undocumented immigrant transportation. The extent of Paxton's probes remains unclear, as his office resists public records requests, citing pending litigation protections. All right, time for our third immigration update. Charter flights have become a new avenue for migrants seeking to reach the United States, with hundreds of thousands using this method since 2022. Migrants fly to Nicaragua, which has relaxed visa requirements, and then travel north by land. The Biden administration accuses charter companies of collaborating with human smuggling networks and is taking steps to counter these operations. Nicaragua's government is alleged to be facilitating this migration as a form of political retribution against the United States. The phenomenon began with Cuban migrants and expanded to include people from Haiti and other countries. While the U.S. government has taken measures to curtail these flights, including visa revocations for charter executives and convincing Haiti to ban such flights, the practice continues. This new migration route presents challenges for U.S. U.S. border control efforts and raises concerns about exploitation of vulnerable migrants. And moving right along, update number four. Immigration remains a central issue in the 2024 presidential election, with candidates offering contrasting approaches. While Republicans emphasize border security and deportation, Democrats seek a balance between enforcement and pathways to citizenship. Changing demographics in swing states, including growing Latino and naturalized citizen populations, are reshaping the political landscape. These voters often prioritize comprehensive immigration reform over strict enforcement measures. Advocacy groups are mobilizing to counter anti-immigrant rhetoric and legislation. And finally, our fifth immigration update for this week. Recent polls indicate that most Americans favor allowing undocumented immigrants to remain in the country legally. The failed bipartisan border deal highlighted the complexities of immigration policy reform. Candidates' stances on immigration could significantly impact their electoral prospects in key battleground states. As newly naturalized citizens prepare to vote, many express a desire for policies that view immigration positively and provide humane pathways to citizenship. And that wraps up this week's immigration news. If you want to win asylum in the United States, then you should call my office today. We help people all over the country, so it doesn't matter where you are. Call us now to schedule an asylum strategy session so that we can help you secure your future in America through asylum. Again, I'm Brian Manning, and it's an honor to serve you in your immigration journey.